Hello dear friends welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we have a mission and the mission is to visualize tenses yes dear friends today we will try our best to create something which will help you to visualize the tenses so far you have read about tenses you have learned rules about tenses you have learned how time and tense are related etc 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 actually tense this chapter in english grammar has become a myth everybody is saying whenever you face it in your classes in your coaching center wherever it may be people will tell you that tense is really very tough you have to learn it you have to put much effort for this but this is only a myth dear friends we are trying to create a very simple animation here and with that animation we will learn tense how if you look at the picture what's there here nothing but you will find a track a track for running and this will work for us to learn tense to visualize tense easily actually here we will learn how our present time works and is converted into tenses so let's begin our journey with the animation for our learning of not learning but visualization of tenses Yes, dear friends, here we are. Obviously, when we are on a track, there we must have someone who will run over it, no? So here we have our little runner. He is here. He will run on this track. So when he is ready beside the track to run. what he will say he is very happy he will jump up and run and practice and what he will say he will say i run i run i run why because it's very simple he runs usually uh, it's uh, actually his hobby he likes running so he runs he will say i run i run why because it's a repeated action so he is simply talking about a fact it's a statement so he is using simple present tense now he got ready the starter has already said on your mark so he is getting ready at the starting point ready for what ready to run the race but don't consider this track as 100 meter or 200 meter rather we will consider this track as yes dear friends as a marathon race so he is going to run a race of 5 km so what he will say here standing at the starting point he will say i'm going to run i'm going to run you will produce this in present continuous though his sentence is with a time that time is only yes dear friends that time is only future time so what he will say he will say i'm going to run be going to as you know this uh, speaks of future so here standing at the starting point he will produce sentences in present continuous that will actually means simple future he may say i'm running i'm running so out of excitement he may say that i assure i'm going to run he may produce it present continuous but actual present continuous will be when the starter 
has fired the starting pistol and he had started running the track he is running he is running he is running and what he will say he will say i'm running i'm running i'm running i am running and will say he is running i'm running he is running so he is in a continuous activity his running is being continued so he will say i'm running will say he is running he is in the middle of the action the action has begun here and it's been continued so it's a progressive aspect will produce that in present progressive tense or present continuous tense i'm running he is running or if he is running in a group will say they are running but at the same time probably he has reached the middle or he has crossed past the the middle he got a bit uh, exhausted it's a long track he is uh, putting much of his effort now he got exhausted and he said oh i have been running for 45 minutes look i have been running for 45 minutes i am running from 10 o'clock in the morning so now in the middle of this continuous activity while he was running he had considered the time and with the consideration of the time what happens with the consideration of the time this boy yes dear friends this boy who was there in the middle of the track has used a tense and the tense will be what will be present perfect continuous tense yes dear friends now his sentence will be present perfect continuous tense so he is running he is in the middle of the track he had produced the sentence in present perfect continuous in the progressive mode when he is still continuing with his running he considered the time and present continuous has become present perfect continuous now he is running is running running and he reached the finish point he has reached the finish point he has reached the finish point so what he will say I will say, I have run the race. The activity of running is over. He had reached the finish point. So, what he was doing from the starting point to the finishing point, that is his activity, run, run, run. It's expired. But probably he is very exhausted. He is gasping for breath. Ah, ah! I have run. i have run i have completed the running i have run so the action is over the result is yet connected to the present and he had produced the sentence in present perfect and now he reached here he had completed running everything is complete what will say now he will say when he reached home after a few days he'll say i ran the marathon race on last sunday last sunday i ran the race last sunday i completed the race so from present perfect it shifted to simple past and that's how tense goes it's up to you to decide what time you have chosen and what you want to express depending on this you will decide which tense to use and here we'll close our discussion because i think it's time for us to prepare for the next session for the next discussion so you get to ready you learn the tenses you visualize tenses we are returning very soon with another fresh video regarding learning and the process of learning and english grammar or something else 
so with what we are returning with until then then bye bye happy learning